Now, I'm standing here in front of the most eagerly anticipated car of the New York Auto Show. Oh, that's, of course, the new Subaru WRX. Now, a lot of you have seen pictures of this thing because there was rabid fans that actually hacked into somebody's website, and Subaru's own website, and they got pictures before they should have been released. But anyway, here it is. Big news. The wheelbase has been stretched about four inches. It should make for a roomier rear seat, which is going to be kind of nice. But, of course, this car is about horsepower, fun, four-wheel drive, and all that stuff. Engine room stays about the same. They fatten the torque curve, but it's still 220-ish horsepower. I think it's 224 exactly. Uh, torque band has been moved a little bit lower in the rev range. Four-wheel drive system remains the same. Now, of course, the WRX has always been about affordable, turbocharged four-wheel drive performance. And this car, I think, is going to continue that trend. Haven't released prices, but they're staying right around 24, 25,000 for the base. That gets you a 224 horsepower four-cylinder, gets you a five-speed transmission and full-time four-wheel drive. This car is bigger, but they claim it's 50 pounds lighter than the old one. And one of the ways they saved weight is they borrowed the whole brake system from the Legacy. Now, that gets you a slightly larger brake rotors, but instead of the four piston calipers from the old WRX, now it has two pistons, and they said they've saved weight in the entire braking system, like the master cylinder and the brake booster and stuff like that. This is a car, everything's going to depend on what it feels like to drive. The old one well, it was fun, it was starting to get a little unrefined, and it just was sort of lagging behind modern cars in terms of comfort and quietness and stuff like that. So if, if they've been able to sort of increase that refinement, keep the fun, make it lighter so it performs better, I think this is going to be a terrific car. Now, one interesting note, the four-door sedan is going to be a U.S.-only model. The rest of the world gets the five-door. Now, there used to be a WRX wagon. That's gone. It's now a five-door, which is kind of like a wagon, but it's a little bit shorter. Subaru is saying, though, the cargo volume is pretty close to the old wagon because they've changed the rear strut suspension to sort of a control arm setup that's allowed them to have a wider and flatter floor. So, of course, this is all stuff we're going to have to see when we actually drive it, but looks good.